is definitely one of the last of the Mohicans, last neighborhood tire business where people still come in here with no money, with four flats, and they leave with not the greatest looking tires, but they leave it running. You know, I'm here to help out the community, and people come by when they need, you know, help, and I try to be there. You know, it's something like a barber shop when they go there to go tell their problems. They come here to the tire shop, and I hear all their situations of life, and, you know, I put it here out for them because chances are there ain't nobody there for them. You don't necessarily have to leave, like, El Sereno. You don't necessarily need to leave L.A. to go to another state to be successful. You could be here in the neighborhood and help your community and stay in the neighborhood and make things positive. When you're, when you're out there in the streets in the hood, you got to be a good role model to other people because younger kids look at you and they see that you're independent and you do what you want and you drive bikes and you drive cars and shit like that. And it's just, you got to be a role model for the younger generation that's coming. You can't think about yourself, you know. You're out drinking one night, you got to think about the following day because you got workers, they got families, they got kids. Your employees, you know, they want to get paid every Friday, you know. If you're not capable of making a commitment, you're not much going to be much of a role model or an entrepreneur or be successful. Hey, Marcos, I un ring de fierro para montar en la máquina esa. My guys here, I really don't see them like employees. I see them like family. You know, they're my friends. They're there for me every day through my ups and downs. They believe in the whole, the whole thing about not working with rules and regulations and punching in and punching out. And this is more of a, a family type business where my workers are my family. I can't say it's not your greatest community because it is my greatest community. I can't say, oh, it ain't the safest place. But for me, it is my safest place. This is the older machine. Does it last? This, this has been around with me since, since I've been a kid and it's still kicking, still running. Making up bullshit stories that, oh, everything's going to be all right. Yeah, it's going to be okay. It ain't going to be okay. It ain't going to be all right unless the younger generation and the, old, the older people in the community get together and really work at it and show them the positive side of life besides all the drama and the shootings and the drive-bys and the dope dealing and all that stuff, you know what I mean? We devote our time into our rides, into our cars, and it's a lifestyle with 12 Sereno tires where you could come down here with no money and fucking leave rolling one way or another.